podcast industry is booming right now. With the surge of a lot of podcasters and producers, people are looking for cost-effective, high-quality, convenient, and efficient tools out there that can help them achieve their goals. But let's address the elephant in the room. It does cost a lot of money. You need multiple cameras, you need a full audio gear, you need lighting, you need videographers, and you need video editors, and all of that adds up and then you say, you know what, it's gonna cost me a lot of money. Let's maybe save this plan for the later. The video call you do in your company is not the tool for podcasting. Those videos are awfully low in quality and let's not even talk about the audio quality because, ugh. but what if I tell you that all of it is the story of the past. Let me introduce you to Riverside.fm, the new sorcery in town, which is an all-in-one podcast and video platform. And let me tell you exactly why you need to be using that. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Shazan and welcome to Joji Studios Unboxing and Tech Reviews, where all we discuss is tech and tech products and podcast and video and photography and lots of other stuff. In today's video, we're going to dive into Riverside.fm, which is also the sponsor of this video. I'm going to tell you step by step how to use Riverside.fm from the basics to the advanced. We're going to dive into some of the video gear. We're going to dive into some of the audio gear and how you can maximize the output of using this platform. If you find value into this video, make sure to the click the link in the description that takes you to Riverside.fm and you can sign up for free without giving out your credit card information. You can test out the tools, get the hang of it before making a decision if you want to go pro. Now here's how Riverside.fm is probably the highest quality video recording platform online. What it does, it records the video natively on the computer or a cell phone and then later on upload the high quality video. So even if the video seems choppy to you in the live session, it's not choppy in reality at all. It only uploads the highest quality video once the session is finished. First, head over to Riverside.fm. As soon as you enter, you're going to have a dashboard in front of you and you'll see all the multiple recordings that you have already done in the past let's go straight into the studio and set up a video recording call add our information over here the most important part you have to select i'm not using a headphones or i'm using a headphone because if you're not using a headphone the riverside will know that it needs to cut down the echo and the feedback that comes from the speaker for the audio video gear to record this video i'm using my sony fx3 camera and i'm also using the same camera as a webcam i'm using a capture card taking the HDMI output, using that as an input on Riverside.fm platform. In terms of microphone, I have Shure SM7DB. It's also connected directly to my camera. And since I'm taking the output of the camera, I can also use the same audio output as my microphone input on Riverside.fm. In terms of lighting, I'm using a big softbox right in front of me, slightly off center. Let's go set up the studio first and then we are going to invite the guest on the show. Now in this part, you're gonna assign your recording settings. You can either just record the audio, you can select if you wanna have the noise reduction or not. I am going to be using the noise reduction for this video because my friend, he has kids at home, so he, I want to make sure that we get as low noise as possible. But in order to get the highest quality possible, I suggest to not activate the noise reduction because you're not going to get 100% cleanest audio because obviously there's some processing. Moving forward, audio sample rate 44.1 kilohertz or 48 kilohertz. I would suggest if you like to record your audio externally as well, most of the audio recorders out there are 44.1. And later on in the post, you might have some issues with the syncing. So I'm just keeping it at 44.1. In terms of recording, the optimized quality is 720p, which is the standard, because if you're using two 720p frames, you can set them up together and that becomes your 1080 frame. But I'm gonna go advanced. I'm gonna select up to 1080p. However, you can record up to 4K if your internet connection speed allows it. Transcription. Now here's the best part. Riverside.fm also transcribes your video while you're recording it. So once you're done with it, you're gonna have a transcription of your video, which makes it easier to edit, which we'll get into in a bit. You can use the live stream option on Riverside.fm as well for gaming or any other show or maybe a live event. In order to invite the guest on your online video recording, you can either send them the link or enter the email address and the link will be sent to them. I want to clarify that the guests do not need to sign up for Riverside.fm. You have the studio set up, they just need the link. So I wanted to ask you, you've been into the wedding industry for almost like 15 years. And how did you get started into the wedding industry? By accident? 
my friend's wedding going on and I had this Sony point and shoot camera that looked like a DSLR, mm-hmm. but it wasn't a DSLR. Their photographer didn't show up. So I was oh, wow. there. I was one of the few people back in the in those days, 15 years ago, that would carry their camera with them. Trip, thank you for joining us. I know that you're in the middle of move, moving to a new place, which is congratulations for that as well. And it's a holiday season as well. We have Christmas in a few days. So thank you for taking the time out. And I hope to see you again on the field soon. Once you finish recording, all of your clips are going to be here on your dashboard. You open one of the clip, whatever we discussed, is all here in the form of transcription over here. What if I tell you that if you can edit the text, that means you can edit the video. If I want to edit the video, all I have to do is just highlight this text, hit delete. This grayed out part is the part that has been edited because I edit the text over here. It's just that easy. It's almost like a sorcery that you delete a text over here and it edits the video. And once you hit export, that part is going to be edited out. Other than just editing, there are various features such as you can select the aspect ratio of your video. Currently, it is at 16 by 9. I'm going to go one by one and it adds my video like that into a square form. But if I want to change the layout of this square form as well, I can have this. I can have the solo one. I can have a picture in picture or I can have like this. I personally like this one. And if I want to have myself on the top, I can just drag. And now the layout has changed. And if I want to share the videos on Reels or TikToks, I can go 9 by 16 and Riverside.fm is going to adjust it automatically. One more important thing, you can also do the design. So if you want to add a background, you can add these backgrounds as well, just to give it a nice little border. Now, once you are done setting the layout and you're done editing the text, I mean editing the video, you can hit share. Now in the share tab, you can either select 720, 1080 or 4K. Since I've recorded the video in 1080, I would want to export in 1080 as well. What I want to point out over here is the normalized audio levels, which means that if I select that, the audio level of my microphone and the microphone of my guest, they both are going to become the same because he's using a different microphone, I'm using a different microphone, and it's better to have both at the same level. I'm just going to hit export and back to the recording pages while Riverside.fm does its magic. The long form video clip that you just finished recording on Riverside.fm, you can create multiple short clips by just one click. Didn't I tell you there's new sorcery in town by Riverside.fm? It's called Magic Clips. Once you open a video in your dashboard, just click Generate Clips and let the AI magic take over. You just sit tight and enjoy the show. Now, as you can see, the Riverside.fm magic clips have created me five different magic clips. And you know the best part? It also created the captions which you can change. Just select this caption, click edit, and you can select your fonts, your size, your text, your style of, oh my God, man. Can you believe it? Just one click. All I had to do is just one click. Transcription from one tool, subtitles and text animation from one tool, editing from one tool. And right now, I don't even have to do editing anymore. Just magic clips, AI text, AI transcription. So the AI of Riverside.fm understands what the video is about and generates the short clips based on the context with the title. Even though magic clips has created the clip, you still have an option to click edit and fine tune your video based on your preference. Another cool feature, if you want to upload the intro or outro of your own, you can click this plus icon at the bottom of the timeline, select the audio or video and insert it into your podcast or short clips. Another cool AI feature of Riverside.fm, generate show notes. So what show notes does, it creates a summary of the video about the conversation that you had, the key takeaways, and also create time-stamped chapters of your video. Now, how cool is that? You can simply just copy and paste this into your YouTube description and you have everything good to go. What else can you ask for a platform that is just click and play? Now, Riverside is not just an online video recording platform. It is also a standalone editing platform as well, which means that you can upload your videos, which means that you can either edit the video further, create show notes, create magic clips, or you just simply want to transcribe your video and put captions on your video, which there are multiple options to choose from. Now, I have been editing videos for over 14 years professionally, and for all you pro video editors out there who want some extra control on your recordings, you can just simply scroll down and download the video in the highest quality possible. That is correct. 
you can download the video and edit them further based on your needs. Now I want to emphasize on the quality video and audio gear. Even though Riverside.fm is an online video recording platform that records the highest quality possible, you still have to make sure that you use the right audio and video gear. For example, I'm using Shure SM7DB as my microphone, which is without a doubt one of the industry's leading and standardized podcast and broadcast microphone, but it does come with a price tag. However, for all you people out there who want to get started with something much more affordable and yet a decent quality, then I would suggest either Zoom ZDM1, which is a dynamic cardioid microphone. It goes for 60 to $70 Canadian in the Canadian market, or you can use Rode Pod Mic, which goes for around 140 Canadian dollars. Both of these microphones are phenomenal, especially Rode Pod Mic for the price. It is really good and a lot of people do use it in the podcast industry. Now, since I was using my Sony FX3 as a webcam with the audio input coming directly out of it, you still would either need a USB microphone or a USB audio interface that you can plug your microphone into and then you can detect this device as your microphone input on your Riverside.fm. This is Focusrite Scarlett 2 in 2. I just recently bought the studio bundle which comes with a headphone and a microphone. I paid somewhere around 429 Canadian dollars for the studio bundle. You can also get Scarlett Solo. It gives you the same quality, all the same features, just single input if you are a solo content creator. On the other hand, you can also get this Zoom PodTrack P4. This is a portable podcast recorder. Also works on the batteries. You have four mic input, four headphone output. You can use this as an audio interface for your mic inputs as well. Your system is definitely going to pick this up as your audio source. You can find the link in the description for all the audio gear that I have and recommended you on this video. So there you have it, Riverside.fm, high quality online podcast and video recording platform. If you find value into this video, make sure to the click the link in the description that takes you to Riverside.fm and you can sign up for free without giving out your credit card information. You can test out the tools, get the hang of it before making a decision if you want to go pro. So there you have it, the best possible way to record the online video podcast in 2024. If you like the content, hit that subscribe button and make that bell go ding, ding, ding so that you don't miss any video in the future. And if you found some value, give me that thumbs up and make sure to leave your feedback in the comment. You can even ask me questions in the comment section. Till next time, Shazan Salim Joji, signing out.